what is up guys I'm back with another video and today this is going to be a tutorial video this is going to be on how to make a boss fight in geometry dash okay so what you're gonna want to do I would recommend you go with the song round zero so what you're gonna want to do is select the wave or or the ship if you want to or a UFO it doesn't really matter what you choose and then you're gonna click custom to select a custom song Then you go to save to see all your songs so I'm gonna go with um ground zero so once I get that I'm trying to find it. I have one somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay, so now you're going to want to click the settings icon. That will bring you to this. So I'm going to go to 65. What that does, it fast forwards the song. So at zero, then 65. It, it fast forwards the song 65 seconds later. So that's what we're going to use for our boss. So we're going to zoom out and you see how we're on this section? We're going to want to click this three times. One, two, three. And you should see this. Now you're going to want to click on the fifth one. And then you're going to want to count seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one, and then I'm gonna select this, then I'm gonna click copy and paste, then click one of these. What these will do, it will turn it. So then, it looks like this. So I'm gonna go with a black boss. So we're gonna go to one, then click on this, and then go all the way down to black. Now it should be black. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the whole thing. Actually, okay, so you're going to want to click on swipe. Then you should see this. You're going to want to put it over the boss like this. And then you're going to want to click copy and paste. Then have the rotate trigger. And you're going to do that until it is a full circle. So now it should be a full circle. Now it is a full circle. So I'm going to go over to the editor layer one. And I'm going to go to this. And then I'm going to scroll to the second to last one. No, yeah, this one. So you're gonna collect, you're gonna select the biggest one. You're gonna place one down, copy and paste. You're gonna wanna click this. This will flip the object around. So now you have this. And this is supposed to be an eye. This is supposed to be an eyeball. I mean, it's not supposed to be an eyeball. It's supposed to be like an eye for the boss. You know? but so, you're going to put that there. Select all. Now, you're going to want to select this and put it over to group one. Grouping this together will, make it ab will be able to make it so then you can actually make the boss work. So then, like... The boss can actually like do things like on command. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to grab the hands, make hands, or get hands. Basically, I like to go with these. Although I might, I don't. Well, I was gonna design one, but I'm not gonna design a hand because I'm feeling kind of lazy right now. So I'm gonna flip that around. 
and scale that all the way up. Copy and paste. Then you're gonna wanna click this. This is vertical. This flips it vertically and not land and not horizontal not horizontally. It flips it vertically. So now the bottom one is gonna be group two. And then the top one is gonna be group three. So now what we do is we bring out our move triggers. So if you want, so, so this is just, so if you want this thing to go up, then you're gonna lock it to player Y. And we're gonna need to set the move time, which is gonna be 9,999. So, Let's turn off follow player. Now it follows you in the motion. But if you don't want it to do that, then you're gonna deselect this and hit lock to player X. Doing this will let the boss follow. So now we're gonna swipe, copy and paste, Group two, then group three. Now the whole boss follows you. So now, now there are no spikes yet. So we're gonna go over to the editor layer one, grab ourselves a spike. You kinda lost track, so if you lose track, you can just hit next free. Then you're gonna scale this all the way up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is do the same over here, except delete this group and then have it at group five. So now, you're gonna bring out your alpha trigger. So then, you're gonna have this at group four. Then slide these all the way back. Now, group four, is invisible. So then you're gonna wanna copy and paste, then do group five. Now they're gone. But they haven't, but they can't follow yet. Because we haven't set anything up for them, for those spikes. So we're gonna set this over. So now they can follow. So now if you want the, um, so now if you want the boss to do a punch, I'm gonna do group two and four. Copy and paste. So these are gonna go all the way back. And I'm gonna have them do it kind of fast, like 0 0.20. And I'm not gonna lock it to player X. Oops, that was the player Y. That was supposed to make it go down. Whoops, my bad. It was this that was supposed to go back. Player X. Because you have the X axis and the Y axis. The Y axis makes it move vertically, making it go up and down. But the X axis let, makes it move horizontally. In a result, where it goes, where the fist goes all the way over there so it can kill you. So then you're gonna wanna copy and paste this. Edit object, it's a negative 100, so you're gonna wanna do the opposite, which is 100. So then it should come back. It should come back. No. Sorry, I'm, oh, whew. I thought my geometry dash crashed there. Yeah, now it should kill you. I'm gonna redo that and see if it kills you. Yes, that kills you. That is good. That is that is what we want. Now, if you wanted to do a headbutt, but you want it to actually work, well, we're gonna go over to the editor layer two. And select this. 
we're gonna select the basic block that's in like a lot of the, lo of the levels. And we're gonna set this at another group. So next free, it's going to be group six. Oh, and if you want it to, um, and if you want the boss to rotate while doing a headbutt, then this part will help a lot. You're gonna wanna grab one of these, edit an object, and then have it be black. So it blends in so you can't see it. So now you're gonna have it at group seven. Now the Z order is negative five, but that is good. That is okay, but you cannot see it. So group seven is going to be, so group seven, group six and seven are going to follow. Group six and seven. So now these are going to follow. So now you can actually rotate the boss, but you're going to need another alpha trigger for group six. So then those blocks aren't showing. So now the boss can do a punch. And if you want it to rotate and do a headbutt, then this tutorial is for you. I mean, I'm not just gonna show just that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bring out your rotate trigger. So then you're gonna select the target group ID is going to be group one. So then it knows what it's going for. And then the center group ID, which is going to be what is rotating around, is going to be that thing in the center that I showed you. So you're gonna have that at group seven. And then you're gonna want it to probably move kind of fast. So you're gonna have it at, at 0 0.20. So you're gonna have it at negative 25. And it should rotate. There we go. Now it can rotate. Now group one and six are going to go and try to kill you. So group one, 30, 0 0.30. So then this is going to be six. There we go. Now it should do a headbutt. Oh, and also you're gonna want seven to do it as well, because then you don't want to show that part. Because then it's embarrassing. Now it actually works. And the headbutt actually kills you. Wait, um, I think I was too close to the goal because that didn't kill me for some reason. Hold up. Hold on one second. I have no clip turned on. No, I don't have I don't have um I don't have no clip turned on. Hold on, let me turn this off so it's coming. Yeah, the reaction time is a little too late. Let me try it again. Yeah, I'm too close to the goal, that's what it is. So we're gonna need another attack here. So we're gonna wanna copy and paste this. So then this is negative 25, so you're gonna have this at 25. This is gonna go all the way back. There you, there you go. Now let's see if it kills you. Yes, now it kills you. That was the problem, I was just too close to the goal. So now if you want a laser, you're gonna go over to the spike decorations. Then you're gonna keep scrolling until you see this. You're gonna wanna grab this then just scroll all along. Now I don't want the laser to be black. I would rather it be red. So I'm gonna have it be red and that is perfect. So then you're gonna wanna flip it vertically 
then have it come down here. Now there is a gap, so you're gonna need to use these to put it together. So now, copy and paste. Then you kind of have it overlap a little bit, but not too much. So, a laser is more complicated than a regular attack. It's more complicated. Okay, I'm gonna have this at the editor layer one. There we go. I'm gonna have this at editor layer two. There we go. Here we go. So now, this should just go on like that. Now this doesn't mean that you're done with the laser. The spikes are still showing. You're gonna wanna add these to a group. So you're gonna have that at group eight, then you're gonna have the laser at group nine. So now, group eight is going to be toggled. And so is group seven. Oh, and also we're gonna also need an alpha trigger as well. So then the boss, so then the spikes don't show. Okay. Eight. Now you're gonna wanna scroll these all the way back, just as usual. And then you're gonna wanna bring out your toggle trigger. These will make it disappear and not work until you toggle it. So you're gonna wanna go to group eight, then group nine. Now I don't know where the laser is, but you can just hit pause and then go turn off preview mode. So now you can actually see where it is. So now I can turn this off and go ch check this out. So group eight and nine, I'm gonna also make that follow as well. So group seven, group eight, Group nine. Now this follows. So now it should follow. So what you need to do is bring out your toggle trigger. Then say, then click, then go to group eight, except what you're gonna wanna do is click activate group. This will make them visible, but I mean, they're not visible because of the alpha trigger, of course. And then group nine. Oh yeah, that's right. So now the laser should show. Now you have a laser attack. Well, I hope this was a useful tutorial. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.